Hello everyone and welcome back to the playthrough of Medieval 2 Total War. When we left off, we had finally taken the fortress of Cairnarvan, uh, but there's a random incursion here Speak from Portugal. The Portuguese navy and army, dropping them off here. It's not a big army, mind you. Only a few units, but it is there. I can't help but wonder why. I mean, there's numerous rebel settlements down there and everything. But we are on our way to meet up with them. There's a Moorish diplomat, a French merchant down there. I am a king. But we want our Scottish diplomat to get to the Portuguese. So that we can figure out what's going on with them. First things first, though. Factual announcements. A new family member and a coming of age. So if we go to our family tree here. King Malcolm, our faction leader, our king has uh, three sons there, a fourth son actually, David Canmore, uh, Edmund Canmore, Prince Edward, Edward's married. Edmund, uh, we married off a couple turns ago, and he has now had a child, Morgan Canmore. Um, but Alexander has just come of age, so we have to find out where Alexander is. He probably is over here. Yeah, that's why there's four. So, Alexander Canmore. 16 years old, wow, and already some good stats. Religious, religiously proper, plus piety, plus chivalry, because he has a chivalrous father. Avoids the truth. He's actually liberated, interesting, plus one to popularity, so that improves public order. Poor speaker, so minus one authority. Authority only matters for the actual um, king, though, the actual leader. Uh, but brave. And born conqueror, a military savant blessed with the mind of pioneers when battle tactics. This is huge. Having four plus four command right away, as he fights in battles and wins them, he'll gain more command. So really good overall. I suppose the loyalty could be a little higher, but it's not that much worse than anyone else. Prince Edward is the one that has some dread. Cruel and cunning, plus two dread. Edmund is fairly chivalrous. And King Malcolm is actually quite chivalrous. Genuinely chivalrous and honorable to both master and minion alike. Excellent. Okay, so, an excellent uh, son coming of age there, Alexander Canmore. End of turn report. Yeah, financial summary, we lost a little bit. We stand to lose some again this turn. We, uh... So, we, we had been doing well, or so it seemed. I but things are starting to get a little Island. worse off again. Uh, despite raising taxes to as much as we can everywhere that we can. Can't build anything there, so we're training a spy to send them down. Uh, Arvin. Yeah, again, we don't want to retrain yet. We're just kind of holding we are off. Not Aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. Call merchant at your I service. had forgotten that we have the merchant here, so... 44 florins per turn over there. Aye. I wonder if you can make more... On my way. One of these ones. 44 from there. 89 per turn. Let's As go. Say, sire. Opening a new trade lane, Wait, a merchant. Sire. There's a Danish merchant there as well. Whose coin do you have now we have a chance to buy them out based on their finance. Only 49% chance of success. Do you have more finance than them, though? A mercantile genius, legal noise, capitalist. Interesting stuff. So that does actually raise it up a decent bit. 89 per turn is not nothing. And if we can keep him there for a while, that will add up over the turns. So I suppose in the future, if we can get some more merchants out and send them across and get them down to some of these more valuable resources, then it will certainly stack up. But with that where it is, I don't think there's much left for us to do. So, we'll go ahead and end the turn. Oh, no. The English seem to be marching that army up. Bride presented, betrothed, Alexander Canmore, by Jean Bouchon. Uh, sure. Edge celebrations. Is Alexander Canmore the one who just came of age? Yes. 16, married. Okay, sure. 
Okay, so we're in a little bit of a tricky spot here. What we need is Patrick McDougal here to, yes, sire. if he can, of course, sire. find the Portuguese. Talks for their oh, dignitary, sire. And he's Opening not quite close enough to sire. Yes, sire. talk with Today's them yet, which is, is over, really sire. too bad. We've got our spy recruited. Those things are built. So right away, oh, ooh, big profits increase supposedly there unless we spend everything in which case i imagine we will lose some but we're still in a decent place financially inverness is back to happy now again with that town hall built uh, and their population is static so we're not losing any dublin happy population growing edinburgh happy population growing york happy population growing here's the issue though We've got this Portuguese army friend, just hanging out there. It's majesty. not huge, but I don't want to lead. I don't want to take away all the troops and leave them with nothing there because we'll we'll start retraining that, and we'll train. I think one unit of Highland rabble just to keep as a sort of like garrison force. I if they if we leave here and they attack, then we are in a bit of a predicament. Aye. We'll move those there. We'll move yes, the spy okay. down. Kill the spy movie. Just want him to keep. Oh no. He's gonna die. Get a 60% chance of success spying on her, so I thought that would work. And our relations with England, ooh, have been poor. Because they just found our spy there. Well, that's especially bad, but they're kind of on poor terms with us anyways, because they've got a massive army here. Like, the flag is almost full. Bigger than our army over here. All but one unit of it in space available. Marching on York. So... Tired of ordering your own forces about, eh? My king! I want to retrain these units. What if we... What if we leave one there? We leave the prince, Prince Edward. And those two Highlanders, because they haven't been retrained yet. We'll take the Aye, archers. Aye. Aye. Mailed knights. My king. The militias, the border wars, and we'll set off March this way. I, my liege, I am a warrior, not a diplomat. I, sire. Do I remind you of one of your own captains, Lord? Oh, I don't like what's fleet going on here. I, sire. I, sire. We'll keep this fleet close. Course plotted, Captain. If they go to war, we'll blockade uh, London's docks. Merchant at your service. Making plenty of money there. I'm a king. I really want to talk with them so I can a get that reward of five hundred florins and b hopefully if we negotiate a peace with them or something they won't attack here. I my lady. I just want to look at is what can I possibly recruit? A couple of Welsh spearmen might not be bad. Mercenary cross moment there, definitely better. My king, I lord. Move out. Move those down to That'll the do today, so They're going to be very unhappy right away. But uh, hmm, diplomat, no need. Can't build anything there, it's all more expensive stuff. Dublin. Dunarvan. I don't want to build anything here because uh, I imagine it's going to be besieged next turn. Let's build land clearance up there as well. Oh, we can retrain this one now. Could recruit one more. 
You know what? Just the, since there is a Portuguese army there, we'll recruit one more. And they've got the space to upkeep. How many units? Two free upkeep units. So um, we'll just have the two units of militia there. If England doesn't attack right away next turn, we might be okay. My king. If they do attack right away, we might be in some trouble. I, my liege. But we will see. There's nothing we can do but wait and see. So we will go ahead and end the turn again. France, Holy Roman Empire, England. I do wonder what they're going to offer here. I bring word from England, noble sire. Hmm. Meaner, welcome neutral. I wonder, should we say yes and just... We've been holding off for so long. Yeah, we've been neutral. 13 turns they've been offering us, we've been saying no. If we say yes, they might not attack us, but then we'll have to break it later and that might make people upset. Let's just say no. We respect your Good day, sire. Ooh, where is that army going? Uh-oh, yep. And then the Portuguese move over to Dublin. Oh, it didn't... I should have trained the new unit first. They didn't go through right away because they only have one recruitment slot per turn. That's okay, okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So we did lose some money on the last turn. A lot of spending. But recruitment, lots of retrained things, and the Highland Rabble. Highland Rabble there. And now, as you can see, we can retrain our actual Highlanders and recruit more. So right away we'll do that. We also retrained all these units up here. Not all, there's still one to be retrained. So we'll do that too. And then we'll wait off on recruiting anything else. But that does make them happier again. Hi. I am a warrior. No I wonder if they're gonna try and sneak behind us. That it did seem like he was going up eight. like that way, right? Do I remind you of one of your own captains, Lord. They are also still offering trade rights. I don't understand. Construction garrison quarters at Carnarvon. That's what's important. Okay, so that's good. New family member. <laughs> Orvalith Canmore, another child born. That's excellent. Good news. End of turn report. Lost a little bit, not a lot. Okay. I am alone. Now. Yes, I am. Portuguese castle. Let Is us. I can trade rights. Map info. Map info. Balanced. I see no problem. Here. It's agreed. It is agreed. Okay. This concludes our meeting. Yes. So now we can see they have uh, there, and they've got another settlement down there, and that's the Moorish capital. Of course, sire. These Want to talk to the Spaniards over, next and get map information and trading with them. Just that our trade has increased by a decent bit, I think. And the mission success, another 500 florins. Perfect. No missions available. And I am hoping with that that the Portuguese won't immediately break that and attack Dublin. They might, but... <laughs> But I'm hoping they Hi, won't. <laughs> um, that's basically that. I'm gonna over there. Aye, Aye, Lord. My king. Mm. Now we'll keep Aye, all Lord. three there. Aye. We'll just move them in. Forward. My onward. Aye. Joining our forces. I, my king. Move this one unit back up there I, so we can retrain. Forward. I love to join. Move out. Combining the armies, sire. I wonder why none of these units are free upkeep. Is it because? Oh, uh, I think with the free upkeep units. It has to be units that you're able to train there. So we have to make a town watch in order for them to be free. 
I think that's absolutely worth making because that'll save us 250 a turn and it will allow us to train them and retrain them here. 600 there. Once again, up there's not... Mm, we're gonna try another spy. <laughs> Feels like wasting money, but they are quite useful and I will train one more up there. Again, just to keep happiness in case there's rebel armies. And in case a random ship of Portuguese friend, drops themselves off majesty. next door. So I, my liege. So right now, okay, still losing money. But we're no, starting to get other money. civs now. We've gotten the Portuguese, uh, other uh, factions. We'll talk to the Spanish. We'll go talk to the Moorish. And uh, hopefully get trade rights with all of them, and then move across this way. We'll talk to Milan, the Venetians, uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Hopefully get trade rights and relations with all of them. Let's end the turn once again. Okay, I was going to say that the Portuguese are leaving. Excellent, but then they're right back there again. English is also there, and Denmark, the Danish, have dropped off. Like, what is happening with just random boats of just a few units? Like, what, what's, what's going on here? I, my liege. So we've currently got four units of militias, four units of cavalry, three units of generals' cavalry, and four semi-full units of archers. I am a warrior, not a diplomat. Aye, onward! All right, let's take this by. 45, 52% chance of success. The thing is, you have to, like... The spy starts out quietly observant. They're they're bad at spying, which means that your chances of success are quite low. But you have to start somewhere. And if I go straight for like the castle, 38%. London, 27%. There, 45%. We'll go with the English princess because it's at least 52%. But uh, let's hope this goes well. Oh, I think that was success. Clubbed him in the trees. Now pretending to be a guard. Excellent. Oh, and just like that, increased inconspicuous and adept agent. So, without watching that again, we will see this spy. It's now jumped up to three. More cunning than most of the night watch, but not all. So that increases it a lot. Can't spy anymore yes, this turn, God. but we'll move him out there, just Stop that we remember. Here, War declared between Hungary and Poland. Interesting. Recruitment report. Some retraining. Construction complete. Land clearance in Inverness. End of turn report. We are unfortunately still losing a bit of money, but hopefully we will soon... Uh, reach a point there where that's not happening. We cannot recruit any more Highlanders currently. I don't want to recruit more mailed knights. They're good, but it's just that they're so expensive right now. I want Highlanders to make up the bulk of the army. So let's, let's do this. Let's retrain that one unit, which we can send out, and one more town militia. The Spear Militia... See, town militia, not really good at much. Even though they have the same stats, the abilities here, the fact that the spear militia have a spear, just gives them a bonus fighting cavalry. That alone is the difference of 20 gold in recruitment cost. Um, they can also do the shelter in position, which I don't think is generally useful. It's only useful if they're, like, surrounded uh, individually as units, which, if that's happened, you're already... You've already somewhat lost, but we'll recruit one more. 
So then we'll keep the town. I'd like to keep the town militias as the militia for the town. Uh, it can hold one more free upkeep unit, but I don't know that we need one there yet, so we won't worry about that. Um, and then we'll use these spear militias again as a sort of intermediary force for now. My king. Uh, yeah, this is still a smaller town, so it doesn't have as many free. Like, what what is this army doing here? I, my liege. I. We are going to take two of them out. Join that. Joining up for I, my liege. And I'm just going to move King Malcolm right there and we're just going to kind of sit for a moment and see what happens where, if there's a move made. If the Danish or the Portuguese or the English declare war on us anywhere along there. I sincerely I hope that doesn't happen, not. but... We are not here for a fight. But we will see. Meanwhile, still no more missions. I'm lord? Yes, sire. Of course, sire. But the Spanish you would discuss with trade rights, map info, and map info. Let's offer that. This seems reasonable. Nice. Yes, we accept. Our relations, how they feel about us, we're accepted. Until okay. next time. Yes, sire. So we've seen there's some Spanish there. We do want to go talk to the uh, sire. Moorish capital there. I cannot go there, sire. I cannot go there, sire. Yeah, we'll just leave that and we'll see where that goes. But again, uh, well, it doesn't seem to have increased our trade income any. The map info is good. Just having the ability to trade is good, and eventually we will make ports at these different areas, and that should allow us more trade. We're all good there, there. Yeah, we could build one more, but I don't, I don't want to. Leather tanner, land clearance, leather tanner. I don't watch. See, now I wonder, because it's it's free upkeep here while garrisoned. But they can recruit the town militia. Oh, because they have the wooden wall upgrade and they've got the wooden palisade. Which doesn't allow you to recruit them. The wooden wall does. Interesting. So this one has both, which is why they've got free upkeep. This one only has this one, which is why it doesn't have free upkeep. And this one doesn't have the town watch, but it does have the bigger wooden wall, which is why it has free upkeep as well. Okay. Getting the hang of it. Getting there. I, my liege. Um, yeah, I suppose I could make... Uh, I mean, another rabble feels almost useless. Like, like that's that's just numbers. Um, for nothing. The knights are just so much, though. And in a castle, they're not as useful, so... We'll leave it where it is. Just recruit more Highlanders when we're able to enter it again. Oh! Oh, no. Yep, there it is. England, you snake. The enemy besieges us. We should give them hell. Portugal, don't do it. Oh, thank goodness. If they siege that one too, we'd, we'd be in a real spot of trouble. Um, okay, so lots of things here. Relations report. Our relations have worsened with Spain and Portugal. Why? Why? What have we done? Diplomatic information. We're now at war with Chile. Hungary, Poland, England, Scotland. Broken their alliances. Hungary, Milan. Alliances, Poland, Milan, Mordas, Holy Roman Empire, and Hungary. All these areas. What the heck? And Spain and Portugal don't like us for some reason. Recruited. Town militia, spear militia retrained. Construction complete, complete at York. Town watch. Which does make those two free. Coming of age, David Canmore, who is right there himself. Let's see, David, 16. Legacy of chivalry. Thanks largely to this noble's father's influence, this man shows a very strong sense of chivalry. That's good. Plus two. Firm ruler, plus one to unrest, but plus two to law. Admires technology good. Brave. 
good, healthy, good, born to command, plus three. Excellent. Seems like a very good youngster I as well. Manage. And yeah, King Malcolm is very chivalrous indeed. So it would seem. But our enemies are not. Traitorous scum. Of course, sire. And there's a Moorish there army. You wish to speak Trade of. rights. Map and well, map and well. Make offer. Well considered, very well. So now we'll start heading this this way, so we can yes, talk to, sire. say, Milan and the is Holy over, Roman sire. Empire. Path blocked. Okay, so a large town ready to upgrade. Edinburgh. Okay. So by making big stone walls, it will upgrade it. More free uh, units for upkeep, extra wall defenses and whatnot, and allows us to build the next tier of things. Now, fortunately, we're not going to be ready for that for a little bit. But the population of uh, public order and My stuff still seems Aye. to be pretty well in hand. We'll start moving those two Onward. militia down. We march no we'll leave those today. ones there. Um, settlement besieged, Fernarvin. Indeed. Six turns until surrender. But I imagine... Oh yeah, they're building siege equipment and they're going to want it. They're going to want it down fast. Hi, my liege. Here is what we're going to do, though. We are going to move we march to King go. Malcolm as close as we can there. I will only address you in battle. I have the, well, yeah. End of turn report first. We did actually gain some money. Our military strength is has climbed into the single digits, but everything else is still terrible. Um, choo -choo -choo. We this do not Portuguese see army is really still worrying me, especially where we uh. Hi, Captain. Danish is neutral. Why are you there, Danish army? Especially because one of these only had like 33. That one's only got 14. It's got barely any strength. Like it's, it's a tiny little force there. At your service. All right. So what do we do now? 75% chance success on them. 62 on them. 95 on the English princess. See, I think we want to go for the higher risk ones will get us more skill, I believe. There's also higher risk that he dies. Let's just go for the English... Uh, let's go to the Danish army. Oh, no. We've seen this one before. No! Died again. 75% chance of success. Still gone. That feels bad. That's a waste of the spy. And we don't get any more info from them. Um, we'll move over and blockade this port. Relations worsened with England? You declared a surprise war on us. Why would we, why would we be anything but poor relations? What does the Pope feel? Little good to say about us. What? Why? What have we done? We've only completed missions for it. I, I'm, I'm uncertain why we've kind of lost favor with these people. Maybe it's because we're at war with England, except they declared war on us. My king, your highness. But maybe they felt they had a right because we were using our spies on them. I don't know. I do not know. Glass. Our merchant is down there. We'll cut off their supplies. Pirates are cutting off another English docks. So that should really cut into their income. Be gone. You but this is the chief problem right age. here. So do I take the fight at the castle? Where these ones are defending against you whatever they have coming in. Come and, get me, you coward. and then this other Why army hits them age. from the flank? Or do I try and take them in the open field? I think I'll wait a turn. If they attack right away, it should... King Malcolm I should be able to... Uh, and these forces should be able to join in with them there. I'm glad we have David Canmore there as that one little thing of cavalry to I go with these infantry in case the Danish army decides to do anything. <sighs> Nottingham's our next 
choice there. Right, I don't really think I need to recruit any soldiers. I think this army should be big enough. I'm really... I mean, we've got, what, six units of infantry there to... Here's one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus three of peasants, but peasants almost don't count. Again, very low. Poor morale. So... Really, essentially, it's nine units of infantry. Three units of peasants. Three of archers and two cavalry. We might be able to... Maybe we should take them in the field. I will only address you in battle. With that reinforcing, we'll have between I us uh, three medium cavalry, two light cavalry, or generals, which are very heavy cavalry. A, an I almost really matching number of decent infantry I, my and uh, about I, the my same number of archers. It'll be a close battle. Uh, I think we want to fight them on the field. Because if we I, wait until they attack, then all of these troops will be coming in from the edge of the map, and these few troops will have to hold out for a long time against you them. Are not my liege. And these aren't exactly I, like liege. huge walls. I, my liege. All right. You know what? We're going to take the battle to them, I think, and we're just going to go for the fight. If we defeat this English army with Captain John, then England just falls to us. This is most of their force, I believe. That's, uh, from what we've seen, London is almost not defended. Nottingham is barely defended. If we defeat them here, this leaves us, leaves us open to taking the rest of Britain. And from there, then we're in a very, very good position. So. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go to war with the English. But that will have to happen on the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and tune in next time to see the great battle between the I, Scottish and the English here. Of uh, the largest you armies that we've thus far in the game fought. I will only so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.